In 2 Timothy chapter 3, the Apostle Paul writes, writes to Timothy about perilous times. I'm going to share these verses with you and have a little talk with you about it. Uh, but before I do, I just wanted to say shalom to you and hope everything is going well for you and yours. And if you like this channel, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit those notification bells. So here we go. I want to read some of the chapter to you and let you uh, be the judge about if this is uh, pertaining to our times, the end times, because this this is what Paul wrote down, and he just wrote he wrote it down because he felt it be very important. I mean, not just then, but just now in our times, up leading up to the return of Yeshua. But here we go. I'm going to read read these read these verses to you. Okay. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boosters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. Does that sound like our society today? You're absolutely right it is. It's, it's, uh, it's up to us, and there's a lot of reasons why this is going on. Uh, anyways, uh, verse 3, or verse 3 says, Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those who are good, despisers of those who are good, you know, people that take up for Yahweh and Yeshua are usually ridiculed, and you now, in a minor way, they're persecuted, you know, laughed at, and try, you know, sort of discredited in the secular world, um, you know, natural affection, of course, is, you know, you know, and uh, men go after men, women go after women, or, you know, there's other, you know, bestiality too, <laughs> bestiality, but um, here's number four, I'm going to continue with number four, which, you know, isn't any better, you know, I mean, seems like this is basically talking about our age and generation, it says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of, of Elohim, now, you know, Lovers of pleasure, you know, I mean, it doesn't just mean sex. I mean, some people, you know, love video games, violence, um, you know, uh, unprofessional, oh, not unprofessional, but, you know, music that don't have no taste, you know, don't convey a meaning. And it's, you know, there's all kinds of forms of that uh, other than sex, whatever. Um having a form of holiness but denying the power thereof from such turn away so for this sort are they which creep into the houses and lead captives silly women laden with sins lead away divers lusts i don't have to explain that to you but <laughs> that that sounds like our world especially the united states you know i mean you know, there ain't no, really, there ain't much moral decency in this, this day and age. I mean, there's some, you know, but not very many. People just can't restrain themselves, and they don't care to. They want to do things their way. They're bullheaded. Uh, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. They, they you know, learn the wrong things. They just don't learn the productive things, spiritually or mentally or anything, you know. I mean, like financially, people don't know how to budget their money right, you know, I mean, for their families, um, it, it, you know, they just don't, they just, you know, live che check by check, some, you know, it's unfortunate, some really have to do that, I'm getting underpaid, you know, unfairly, but there's just others that, you know, don't, they don't learn the right things, I mean, even if, you know, even if it's biblical, or if it's, you know, to maintain a peaceful living, you know, that's just how that is. Um, I'm going to skip down to uh, uh, verse 13. Verse 13 right here says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now this this is actually talking about uh, these false ministers. that Most likely they used to be true ministers of Yahweh. But for some reason they just turned and they're getting worse and worse with their heresies. 
and preaching stuff that's not even biblical and it's not even healthy for mankind. And they're going to grow worse and worse and worse. To, and, and it's to the point where they're even deceived themselves. That's plain and simple. They believe a lie. You know, I don't know. There's, there's many reasons why they might deceive people. They, you know, they deceive themselves, you know, deceive themselves. Maybe these preachers have a lot invested in like, you know, a bunch of books, books out, you know, and making money off of them. That's what's driving them. They can't, they can't renege and they can't turn around and say, Ooh, I was wrong and take them books off the shelf. They want to discredit and their uh, reputations, you know, because, you know, they, it, there ain't no profit in it. And I'm not accusing all of these uh, guys and women of doing this, but you know, it's a factor in some cases. Uh, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou had learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith which is in Messiah Yeshua. Can't get any clearer than that, you know. I mean, thank God we got scriptures here, you know, to go back on and read this stuff, you know, and study it and take it in, take into account what it's actually meaning, you know. Uh, now, now uh, chapter 316, here's the key scripture right here. You know, it's usually often quoted and, you know, it's very important. Um, and you got to you got to remember this. Take this to heart. It says all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Now, we got that key word right there, righteousness. You know, all scripture is given by Yahweh for us to study, learn from, live by. There ain't no way out of it. I mean, we want to do things our way. You know, humanity wants to do things their way. And look, what, look how the world is. It's such chaos and everything. People want to just do what they do. It's you know selfish motivations and pleasure seeking and and I just wanted to uh, share that share that chapter with you in Second Timothy because I think it's very important for people to wake up to this. Um, as far how far it goes, you know, about trying to turn the curb or anything. You know, if if I could get one or two people to think about it and change with Yahweh and Yeshua's help. You know, I feel like I accomplished my my goal, but I I like people to take you know take counsel with that and and hopefully you know they you know try it try it Yahweh's way and see how life goes. You'd, you'd be abundantly blessed, you know, if you go that way. If you believe and repent, you know, baptize, you know, ask for forgiveness, you know, just that's just that's from that's you know it has to be for a person in in your heart, you know, but. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, and thank you again for tuning into my channel. I'm out, and shalom.